I will be showing you how to put in title slides and how to put in transition sounds. So let me go ahead and maximize iMovie. Um, to put in transition slides, um, this T has already been activated, so that drop down was showing, but let me make sure that you know how to get it to show. Um, I simply come over here and click on the T for title slides, and then I get all the choices of the types of title slides that I can put in. The ones across the bottom are banner slides, and those go across existing slides, so we really don't want to use those for our title slides. Um, I'm going to choose Organic Main, though. I'm going to click it, and then I'm going to pull it over here and put it at the very beginning of my movie, um, and use that as my... Oh, but I've made a mistake because I'm not at the beginning yet. Let me go ahead and drop this back in here and start over again. Um, I made a mistake by not sliding this all the way up so that I could um, be at the top of my movie. So now that I have this slid all the way up, now I can drop this in at the very beginning. So I'll bring this over here. And I, I don't want to drop it now because it would drop it right in the middle of that highlighted area. I want to get to the front of this and have the green line show up right at the beginning of this video. And now it's ready. I drop it in and it goes right at the very beginning. So that's what I want. Um, I think maybe I'll go ahead and choose it um, with this color background. So I'm going to change it to a little bit different color background. And now I can type in my text. Um, this is going to be WHS Physics Forces Movie. Well, perhaps I don't want Movie in there. There, that's enough. <clears throat> And typically you're going to put your name on it, but I don't have room on this title slide to include a name, I don't believe. So I'll just leave it um, that way. But yours will have your name on it. So there, that's a nice little title slide. Let's go ahead and play that and see how it looks. That looks nice. And then it goes right into um, that topic, so I'm going to cut it. Now, that's not, this is not one that I want to continue to um, watch, so I'm going to hit delete so that I can stop watching the movie. And start doing something else. So I have my title slide in, that's a good thing. I can put in as many title slides as I need. Um, I can change the timing of the title slide the same way I change the timing of the rest of these slides. So um, you'll need to put in several title slides um, for your show. I just showed you how to do just that one. The other thing I'm going to show you this time, though, is how to put in some transition sounds. So putting in transition sounds is really easy as well. I click on this music sign, and I get a drop-down box. Um, if I choose iLife sound effects, then I can get a ton of different choices there. Um, I can click that again. I can get movie sound effects, and I can get different sounds um, from that one. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and use this movie sound effects, and I'll just select this ambient hit. Um, so I'm going to bring it up here and I've got the green plus sign so it shows me it's going to drop it in there and lo and behold it makes it, a, it, it shows that I have this green line and so I have a sound in there. So if I play it from right here I um, hit the space bar and it'll play in this box and I got that little sound um, at the beginning of my, my movie. So you can drop those in wherever you feel like they add to the movie. Um, you can put too many of those in and they can just kind of junk it up, so don't get, go crazy on that. But sometimes it does kind of help to have um, a, a sound transition in your movie um, and it kind of alerts the watchers that something new is going to happen, particularly if you use the same sound each time. Um, so hopefully um, that was helpful. So now you know how to drop in title slides and how to drop in some sound effects.